hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel and guys in today's video i'm just going to be ranting a little bit right but i just feel so i feel like it's important for us to have this conversation and it's obviously about the mass entry of people into the uk and i must mention that yes i am one of those people i'm one of those people that just left nigeria in the last couple of months so it's not just you guys i'm also involved in this i just left nigeria right but i feel like many of us are not thinking about our why what is the reason why we're choosing to leave nigeria what is the reason why you are choosing to leave nigeria and what does uk have in store for you let us sink in why why are you choosing to leave nigeria what is the situation like for you in nigeria not for the whole of nigeria for you what is your lifestyle like in nigeria how much do you have in your bank account what is your your career goals what are your life goals and how does coming to the uk how does it assist that affect that or how does it help that when you find this your why the next thing you need to do is do research if you intend to come to the uk for instance because you want to travel the world right and you know that that opportunity is going to give you like for the next three years opportunity to travel the world then you need to do research on okay what are the documents i'm going to need after i get to the uk to be able to travel the world you cannot just come pack your husband your wife your children book um flights and come to the uk and think that everything here is flowing with milk and honey it is not i'm sorry to bust your bubble it's probably going to be more difficult i'm going to say something right two people only took to me to me by the way guys these are all my opinion if you have a different opinion that's fine by you but this is my opinion right only two category of people actually enjoy this country the minute they step inside right some people as they go on they would enjoy this country but only two category of people enjoy this com country as soon as they land do you know what those, the first category of people are people that have a lot of money already from nigeria so if you're coming from nigeria with a lot of money you are odogo already you can afford to leave the uk and go to nigeria if you want you can afford to get your house that you want you can afford to do whatever you want to do right you don't need to do any crazy job to be able to make ends meet and that will not deplete your personality lead you to depression make you feel less than yourself you will enjoy the uk the other category of people are people that they don't have anything in nigeria maybe you were working in nigeria as a bricklayer or you were you were doing kurukbe. i don't know you were doing like the worst of the worst of jobs in nigeria and you were not getting anything maybe in a month all you could ever make was twenty thousand era thirty thousand era then you come to the uk and you're ready to now do anything if they tell you to pack shit, you pack it. If they tell you to clean one bomb, you you clean it. Anything they tell you to do, you're ready to do it. Yes, you enjoy the UK because suddenly you that you were in Nigeria that you could not raise thirty k. Now you're able to call your mom and say, "Mommy, let me send you hundred pounds. This is about hundred k." Guys, let's talk to ourselves. If you're living a comfortable life in Nigeria, you have your car, you have your home, you have everything that you want. You need to think about why you're coming to this UK because I'm telling you now that you're going to get to this UK and you're going to be trying to figure things out for a couple of months and it is going to be really, really difficult. And you're going to have to think about it. And why did I choose to make this decision? Many people are in the UK now. They don't, their friend has told them that, oh, they got visa through one day, now have certificate of sponsorship, right? But that your friend did not tell you that it's his care job that you're doing. I just met one lovely man called, um, a, a lovely man, I don't need to mention his name. And we had a conversation and he, he's a bank manager in Nigeria and he came to the UK. He has paid £8,000 as two, um, it's 50% of his tuition and everything. His family and kids are still in Nigeria. He's thinking of bringing them down here. Then the first job he got is in a care home. And obviously he's been asked to do personal care for somebody. Personal care is literally what everybody says cleaning yash cleaning bomb bomb and it's not one person so you may have to clean yash of like five people in the morning are you ready to do that kind of job and if you're not ready to do that kind of job do you have savings if you don't have savings do you have skills that would actually help you to get a job that you really truly desire and if you're a student and you can only work for 20 hours I'm sorry to bust that your bubble. The chances that you will get a good job under a 20-hour contract is really low. 
because most companies that want to hire people would rather hire people that can work full time so whoever is deciding to be the person that wants to work full time make sure that that person actually has skills to get a good job i'm so passionate about this because i feel like people are making these decisions without thinking about anything also, you're thinking of, of bringing your kids to this country. Do you know that you cannot leave your kids alone at home? So somebody needs to be with the kid. Somebody needs to be with the children all the time. And this is not a situation where you can just say, oh, I know one girl like that. I'll come help me stay with my children. That girl also wants to go and do her own shift. So if you can afford to bring your own people from Nigeria that will not run away when they get here, then maybe that works for you. You fall in the first category of people that have a lot of money. But just know your why and so when you know your why and you're going through whatever you're going through because obviously moving to a new country will always have its rigors and everything but once you know your why and you're going through all these things right you'll be able to know that okay this is the reason why i made this decision and i did my research and i knew exactly what i was going for i've spoken about this in one of my videos earlier right before you choose a school go and do your research what is the rank like there what is the living condition like there? People will not show you their lives because the truth about it is that if you show people your life, they're just going to use gossip about you. So nobody even has time to be showing people their life. I'm not going to show you people my life. That's the truth. I'm not going to show the, the bad parts. I'm not going to show you the good part as well. I'm just going to show whatever part I decide to choose. So nobody's going to come and start telling you that, oh, this is exactly what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. No. You would have to come and see for yourself. But me... I'm even choosing to tell you now that you would need to make sacrifices. It's not going to be the way it was before if you don't have a lot of money. I hope that you guys are understanding what I'm saying. I hope I'm passing this message across. I know I sound very, very heated. <laughs> it's just because i just feel for people and i just feel like many people are making this decision these days and it's just it's just feeling like what about what are we doing with our life what are we really doing and i feel like i want to say this before you call people and say ah, i don't jack power i don't leave nigeria for now bro off the phone end the call go back to your drawing book because you may have to go back to nigeria Nigeria may still be part of your backup plan. And that does not need to be a bad thing. Even the fact alone that you traveled and you lived somewhere for a particular number of years. Is it not a good thing? Is it not exposure? So, I just feel like let's just be realistic with ourselves. And it's even getting more and more difficult to get this their care visa. This their care sponsorship. It's available. But just imagine, they are like, let's say they are 1,000 jobs, but they are like 15,000 students. So it's not even so easy. And people are realizing that, oh, there's domiciliary care. You have to go from one person's house to the other, to the other, to the other. It's breaking everybody's back. I feel like TikTok is a good place to go. Go on TikTok. People on TikTok are so realistic. They literally tell you this is exactly what is happening. This is exactly what I have to deal with. How many Nigerians that are coming to the UK now can afford to actually buy a car? You need to get a car if you have kids. You need to get a car to do some kind of jobs. You may never find jobs in your own town. So, guys, it's important for us to think about our why. When you now finish thinking about your why and everything, you now tell yourself that, okay, I'm dropping my ego. I'm dropping my everything that I think I am in Nigeria. You drop it at Muritala Mohamed Airport. Not in Itro. You drop it at Muritala Mohamed Airport. You drop it there. Then you now say, okay, fine. Whatever UK brings for me it's fine i will accept it whatever uk does i'm ready to do it if i have to get a roommate i'll get a roommate because if you instead of paying 500 pounds per month if you can pay into 250 you save money the pressure on you will reduce be able to focus in school and guess what another important thing i think people are forgetting if you fail your school if you do not pass in the school that they gave you admission you cannot get post study if you did not pass, you understand what I mean? And some people are like, oh, don't worry. I'll just pay people. Fine, you can pay people. Plan yourself well. Bring that money if you have it. And if you don't have money, be ready to do anything. Emphasis on anything. I think that's all. Thank you guys for watching this video. 
I don't think I have any other things to say. <laughs> but guys, I'm just triggered. I just want everybody to be happy. I want everything to be fine with everybody. But I just really need people to know they are wide. Some people are sick. They are not feeling fine. They want quality health. That's why they are coming to come and do these masters. Some people, all they just need is that NHS. NHS is free. The money that they are paying for their school fees, which is going to be about maybe like 16 million, is not going to be enough to take care of them in Nigeria. So they are thinking about that. That's why they are coming. Right? Everybody, like I said, some people, they just want to travel and see the world. I think I fall in that category by God's grace. <laughs> you know, some people just want to travel and see the world. Some people, they are doing it because of their children. But you have to, and don't just say, oh, I'm doing it because of my children. What is the plan for those children? Where will those children be when you have to go to work? Because free education, free education, free education, it does not start till age three. And they are never going to be in school all day. Some of them are backed by two. So, if you have to do a nine to five, if you are saying you work from home, do you have the skills to acquire a job that will make you work from home? Guys, I think with these few points of mine, <laughs> I've been able to <laughs> confuse you. <laughs> Sorry. I think I've been able to, I also have been able to make some sense and you can just get some sense out of what I've said. I wish you guys well. Welcome to the UK. Me too. I'm going through the same situation. I'm Every day is so, di every day is different. Some days are way more difficult. It's some kind of jobs that you go and do and you be like, God, hey, this kind of job. Just some of your courage again. Say no problem. We move. Every day will be different, but you need to you need to prepare yourself. Guys, let's be prepared. Okay? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. Bye, guys. <laughs>